And a little bit of up and down to him. We just seen him buck Jose Vitor Lemmy off a couple of weeks ago. Dakota Butter is on form. As tasty as maple syrup, a second score for him, Ty, means we will see him in round number three. Man, I really like how this looks. You, you know, watch him match the Bulls' performance. Like, he's not overdoing it, he's not underdoing it. He's right stand in the moment, and he's where that bull is at. And, you know, that's the name of the game in this sport. Whenever you're talking about counter movement being what keeps you on there, it has to be timed perfectly. Good job. Dakota, well done. We we're talking about the frustration of having to battle through injuries when you're riding so well. How much momentum does it give you to get the first one down like that in round two? Uh, it's big because it's got to get a score to move on, so I'm just ready for the next one. <laughs> how is uh, the shoulder feeling now, the elbow? How are we doing? Uh, shoulder's a little tight, but it's not too bad. I can handle it. Ready for the next round, Craig? One of the biggest names to come down from Canada the past few seasons has been Dakota Butter. The 26-year-old seems to ride well at every level, but Kate, he's missed the past few events. Yeah, he originally injured his left shoulder on his riding arm back in Billings. We did not see him again until the summer, and then he injured it once again at a PBR Canada event. He told me it's frustrating to continue to be sidelined when I feel like I'm riding so well, because remember, guys, he's sitting number two right now in the PBR Canada standings, but the good news is Dakota said right now it's not affecting me at all. In fact, I'm considering holding off on that surgery that's scheduled for December because it feels so good. Well, and it seems like that would be a smart call. Even though he's missed the past few events at the Unleashed the Beast level, he has been riding in Canada a very successful summer. And he translates it to a successful eight here. He had been on Newsom before. It was worth 85 points in Billings earlier this year. And Ty, those big loping moves of Newsom don't always make it easy on a rider. Well, Craig, this bull has, you know, timing. And, and that's the thing that you always hear me talk about. He comes out back, backwards, but once he clears the gate, you can see how he has some rhythm to him. That's what helps you with counter movement is when you can find that good rhythm and then it just all fits together like a puzzle. Butter has booked his ticket for round number two. The only qualified ride we have seen so far in Nashville, but we will see a lot more before the evening is over. The sport that the odds are against you so much and it's so dangerous, you've got to find that confidence. You weren't kidding about that bull. Cha-ching almost was more like cha-chunk, cha-chank, cha-kink. I mean, he did not have a lot of rhythm to him. Yeah, there's a reason guys don't find success against this bull because he starts out really strong. I thought the bull scores would be even higher than 43 and a half. I think this is a really tough bull, but he's got the forward movement and that's where the power comes from. Not only the drop, the kick, but moving forward, that's when it gets a guy's upper body run back and they take all the power. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.